Hi everybody, it's Mr. Giles, and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to make a scale using Paint.net and learning some of the basics of the tools in Paint.net. So um, I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to pull up, uh, let me just pull this up here. I'm just going to put in to Google scale. Okay, and I'm going to go to images, and we have this kind of traditional, in fact, I'm going to write scale traditional. Okay, this is a scale, okay? And a scale is um, something that weighs things. So we're gonna take and make a scale and talk about weighing a media balance in our life, okay? So for now, we're gonna look at like one of these traditional scales, like, like this here or this. Actually, this one's pretty simple, I like this. Okay, I'm gonna copy this image. Right-click, copy image. And I'm gonna go back here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer. To turn your layers on and off and your colors and your tools on and off, you click up here in the upper right hand corner and you're gonna make sure that this one, the layers, is on. And you're gonna grab the bottom by putting your, the tip of the, the mouse and you're gonna drag it so it's open a little bit more so you have it over here on the right. If this screen here in the middle, we're gonna go File, New, and we're gonna make it 1920 by 1080, which is a traditional HD size. Oops, 1080, 1080, 1920. And uncheck this check mark. If you have this check mark on and you try to change the sizes, like if I change this to 1080, it's gonna change the top to an equal amount. So I wanna uncheck that. So I have this as 1920 by 1080. Then you'll say, okay. So now, I have my background and I'm gonna resize my background using the, the zoom in, zoom out feature here. So I'm gonna zoom out until I can see my layer tool all by itself and my color tool over here on the left and my tool tool thing here on the left also on the top, okay? Now we've got our size and we're gonna create a new layer. You can also go Control, Shift, and N. Control, Shift, and N. All right, and I'm making a new layer and I'm gonna call this Sample. And I'm gonna paste. Now, after all that, I copied that image. I right-clicked on the image. Just to remind you, I went back to the picture. I right-click and I copy image. I use the right mouse button right so that my finger is on the picture and then copy it. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to this layer. I'm gonna make sure I clicked on the layer. I spelled sample wrong. I'm gonna fix that, S-A-M-P-L-E. And I'm gonna hit Control V and paste it. Now, if you get a picture that's really big and it says, hey, we wanna expand the size of your canvas, uh, just say no. You don't want to expand the size of your canvas. It, it'll be like this. It'll be like really big. You can just grab it when it comes in and you can shrink it down. And what we want here is we want a sample so we can sort of see what our scale would look like. Okay, that's that's layer. Now I'm going to make another layer. Actually, I'm going to hit Control D as in dog. Control C T R L. It's the bottom. I have a really cool keyboard. Control and then D and I just tap it, and you'll see that the little marching ants disappeared. I'm gonna do that again. Uh, when you select something or click on something, it puts these marching ants. That's a selection area, and anything inside of the marching ants is something you selected. Like if I hit delete right now, it'll delete what is ever in that selection on that layer. So I'm gonna hit Control D to undo, I'm um, Control Z, sorry, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, and I get back to that, Control-Z is your friend. Now hit Control-D once to unselect the marching ants. Now I'm gonna make another layer, and this is where I'm gonna do my drawing. I'm gonna leave this other layer here on the bottom so I can sort of see it as a guide, okay? And I'm gonna start with uh, the Shapes tools, okay? And there's a couple awesome options you have with the Shapes tool. If you look up here in the upper left-hand corner, you're gonna see that you have all these shapes you can choose from. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the basics. I'm gonna go with an ellipse. And then right here, I'm gonna make sure that this is on draw shape outline. And then brush size is how thick your line. So for example, if you see I'm drawing a line right now and I can change this and make it thicker. Um, actually, that's not bad. I set it to 15. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna sort of like make my base for my um, thing. In fact, I think I'm, I think I'm fine like this. I'm gonna simplify this. I'm gonna make a base that is circular and then I'm gonna draw a line. Okay, 
Let's, uh, this is my actual drawing. I'm gonna name that layer by double clicking on the layer, and then I can type a title. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. See how there's dots and it's selected? I can move this wherever I want until I hit enter. Then it is painted on the page. Okay, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna do this shape here, which is a, a trapezoid. And I'm gonna just do a skinny trapezoid. And you can adjust this until you click off or hit enter. I'm gonna sort of line it up you know what, the actual picture isn't totally lined up, so I'm gonna, um, oh, I messed up. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I'm gonna turn the, the picture off for a moment because I think that's a little off. I'm gonna line this up as best I can um, without the picture. Remember, make sure you're on the layer you're trying to draw on, okay? And I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna move this until it feels like it's centered I think that's about the center of that, and that's really good. Uh, I'm gonna do that, okay, enter. All right, and let's just take a look back at that sample. Now, it has a bendy curve thing. I'm not gonna do the bendy curve. I'm gonna turn that picture off, make sure I'm on my drawing layer. I'm gonna get a line tool, and I'm gonna hold shift to draw a perfectly straight line. Now, I'm gonna just try to get this so that it's, actually, I'm gonna make it come in to about here, Hold on. I don't want my line too long because I want it to be able to hang. I want it to be longer though. Delete, try again, Control Z, Control Z, let's try again. I think I want it to be about here. Like the middle of this area, I want it to start. And then I want it to go up to about the middle of this area and then start right about there. Okay, because I want to have, you have the two things that are hanging down. I'm only gonna have two like strings attached to my thing. Um, I'm just looking that as a, reference for the idea. Now I'm gonna draw two baskets that are gonna hang down. Like like this probably, and I'm gonna just kind of position it so that, see these two dots that are there? Um, I want them to be in the kind of the middle of where that is, so, see like that? And then I'm gonna just take it down. You can use the arrow keys to get very exact and precise too. If you wanna like move it down from up the top and then move it down. And then I'm gonna hit enter. Um, now here's a trick. I can copy this. So I have the exact same size over here. I can highlight this area. I'm gonna get as close to it as I can. And I'm gonna and make sure you're on the drawing layer where you do the drawing and I'm gonna hit control C as in cat. So CTRL and C, copy. And then V is paste. I wish there was, I wish this program had the thing where it showed the keys I was using, but no, it went over. Control C, now I'm gonna hit Control V. Now it's pasted. Now if you grab this, you're gonna see, hey look, there's a line. It also has the white space around it, so I'm gonna be careful. I see that there's the center of this one actually, and I can line it right up with that, and I can just sort of drag it down. And I'm gonna line it up roughly with this spot, so it's very much in about the exact same spot. And I'm done. Now I'm gonna to go to the line tool and see this thickness now? I wanna change that. Also, you can change the style. I can make it dotted, which actually might look really cool for this. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a dotted line. Hey, that's cool. I like that. Okay, I hit enter when I'm done drawing the line. I hit enter again. I hit enter. I hit enter again. I could potentially make this less thick. I could make it like a smaller size. You know what? Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I'm Control Zing. I'm gonna make it thinner. I, you can keep it. That's fine. I'm being whatever. I'm being picky. Uh, I'm gonna just go from there to there, hit enter. Then I'm gonna go right from this corner, right back to the exact same spot, hit enter. Right now, if you wanna be more detailed, you can be, okay? You can be more detailed by doing things like, let's look at back at the picture for a second. See how there's rings right there? You wanna add the rings, that's cool. If you wanna make this a rounded shape, um, using the, uh, you know, if you wanna use this tool here, the shape tool, and, and do a circle, and then do like a, you know, do like a rounded circle like that, and then we're gonna change that style back to a solid. Um, and you wanna do like a rounded base for your, your, your thing, that's fine too. You can totally do that. We're gonna be putting pictures of things in each side, um, and we'll get to that. But for now, there's a basic scale. I would love, if you have more time, 
to add details, to add little extras, uh, to maybe to color it a little bit. By the way, also deleting things. If it's on one layer, we just select it and we hit the delete key, not the backspace, the delete key. If you hit backspace, here's what happens. Backspace actually puts the top color <coughs> into your selection. Control Z and Control D to deselect. Okay, we've made a scale. Is it perfect? Nah. Could it be better? Sure. Um, and if you have time, you add more details. That's how we're getting started with our media balance scale uh, using paint.net. Hope that helped and we'll see you later. If you have questions, put them in the comments or something. Thank you very much. Bye.